Hello, I'm Kevin from Crypto MY. In today's episode, let's talk about another interesting project. So let's stay tuned. In today's episode, I will talk about this Compute Coin or Computer Coin. So what is this all about? Let's get it through together. What is this project all about? And what is so special about this project? So let's talk about what is this coin all about. Compute or Computer Coin. CCN is a self-evolving computer designed to power the metaverse. So it solves all the metaverse issue because the metaverse industry is evolving for quite some time uh, for the people which people work, socialize, build and explore. So today, uh, metaverse has a lot of flaws and a lot, a lot of limitation. Even the world famous platform like Fortnite, Roblox are centralized and low fidelity with limit on the numbers of users who can be in the same virtual space at once and precious little customized for users. So we have built a solution to overcome these obstacles and proper the metaverse into a brave new era, which is interesting. So it tries to solve limitation that are limit right now, like Fortnite or Roblox. You can see uh, they're having issue for quite some time in terms of limits of number of users who can be in the same virtual space at once, the precious customizability for users. So they are trying to solve all these obstacles with this project. And it is very interesting. So this project, right, I would say easier to say it is like uh, something like Filecoin, but it's not really like Filecoin because it stores all the storage uh, store all the files uh, like a storage for metaverse project and this is very interesting because this i think this is the first project that does storage for all these metaverse project and it sounds very very interesting and easier to say this is a project where you can do mining because when you see right when you go all the way to uh, their home page I'll put down the link and below you guys can actually check it out by yourself. You can see there is a mining button, the learn and about, and you can see the mining is the priority. So when you go to the mining, you can actually see there is a join testnet button where you can actually become one of the miner for CCN. So you can see here, strengthening the metaverse foundation by becoming a miner. So as you mine, as you help to create more storage uh, in CCN, you will get reward when a lot of people or investors are using these tokens or this uh, blockchain to do the transactions if now or whatsoever or to store their stuff in this CCN. So you can see like introducing Meta Power, fueling the digital future. Meta Power is the smallest unit of computing power in the metaverse. And it is the universal pricing unit of underlying computing and storage power of the metaverse. So there are type of meta power get more rewards by providing the most in demand meta power. So generating computing tasks, uh, website building, image computing, AI, HPC, uh, high performance computing, 3D rendering, AR, VR. Uh, computing storage solution like IPFS and SWARM, connection metadata exchange. Uh, metadata is the smallest data unit in the metaverse. So it uses the proof of honesty, which is POH, building a self-governing ecosystem. And I think this is one of the newest uh, proof of honesty. I mean, this POH processors is one of the new ecosystem that they are built by the Compute coin. So it has the enable CCN for self-governing ecosystem. Miners are incentive to be a uh, network witnesses by verifying and confirming randomly selected transaction. The more meta power a node has, the more likely the miner will become a network witness. So it's more, much more like a uh, no, like like Ethereum, where you buy all these graphic cards to do mining, uh, like Bitcoin, you buy all these uh, what they call machines, uh, end miner machines or whatsoever machines to mine Bitcoin to verify transactions for Bitcoin, and this one will be 
uh, you have a machines to help Contrity Coin to do some verify and confirming randomly selected transaction. Interesting, interesting process. So, yep, if you want to read more about this, I'll put down the link and below. You guys can actually read up by yourself, know more about how this works. But in order to you to have uh, or to mine this token, let's say if I click this join testnet, it will actually uh, get into this page where you have all the machines, the machines that you are mining for them, and the rental and also the rewards. So let's say in order for you to join this, you need to have a Ale wallet. So what you can do is just click on this button. I think you will get into the page to teach you how to add this or find this Ale wallet at Google Chrome. So you can see this is other steps to teach you how to import the wallet or create a wallet for Ale. So once you have created it, then you just follow all the single steps and you will be good to go. So everything is here. Uh, you can read it. This is the steps, the guides to teach you how to do mining and how to start mining in the test lab. Of course, if you want to uh, wait for the mainnet, you can go ahead. But I, I, I rather you to try it out by yourself on the test net, see how it really works before the main net actually release everything is here it's all straightforward and let's say if you are after you have done all this ale wallet integrating with your chrome or integrating with your computer then you will need to start the mining by itself how to start the mining very easy you just go all the way back and then you need to go all the way down to this uh call how to supply Meta power. So once you have clicked on it, then it will teach you how to install CCN. Uh, depending on your hardware configuration and OS, download the CCN Pro and the CCN Mini. And you can see uh, there is some steps that you need to follow in order to get this CCN installed into your PC or into your machine. For example, uh, like Ethereum, like uh, you need like nice hash, like Phoenix Miner all this mining software for you to start the mining and this one is called CCN Pro and CCN Mini so what you need to do is just follow all the steps of course this is much more like a what you call a, a little bit of a programming stuff and here here and there so you need to be very very precise or need to be very understandable or you need to be very very patient to learn all these and to do it step by step. Of course, if you are a programmer, then it should be very, very easy for you to learn all this. So the mining reward, you need to go into the mining reward category to look into it, how much you earn basically. But usually it doesn't write there because it's much more random or because when you're mining, the price will be different. The coins that you're getting will be slightly different. So you need to be into it try it, test it out, then you will know exactly how many coins that you're getting based on the hardware that you have. And I would think that this is a very, very good chance for you to test it out. For example, if you are into this mining category industry. Basically, that's it for this computer coin. If you ask me whether is it good, whether is it bad, whether is it perfect, I would say that it's something new to me whereby it actually uh, create storage for metaverse something new uh, it might has potential to grow in future nobody knows really depending on how many uh, metaverse projects are into this uh, they want to store or whatsoever or all the developers want to store uh, their files into this computer coin but let's say if it does and let's say if metaverse grow and they need some storage and this computer coin can help, then I would say that this project will actually grow more fast sooner or later. Uh, so for minor perspective, then I would say it's good for you to try to test it out the test net, whether or not the profit actually flavorable to you, uh, whether you like it or not, because uh, some of us we intend to just uh, mine certain coins like for example, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Filecoin, Sia coin. There's a lot of coin outside that can do mining. Okay. 
but this one is a bit a bit different. So if let's say if this coin, you can gain more profit out of the mining and the profit that you gain from the mining, I would say that it's also a advantage for you to have a optional choices to choose whether you want to mine this or mine that or mine this token or mine this project during your mining process. Okay, so based on this project itself, very very good potential. Uh, something uh, advantageous for it because this is the first and only project who specify addresses for the computational challenges facing the metaverse application and it has the privilege access to 10 over thousand of IDC center in China and also CCM fully utilized hardware capabilities by supporting the simultaneously mining of two plus cryptocurrency including Filecoin, CRU, ETH, and other allowing hosting machines to earn 24-7. So it's very interesting to see these sort of projects coming up. Okay, so I think that's all for today's episode. If you like my episode today, remember to click like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys soon and goodbye.